the latest restrictions that the U.S. imposed on Chinese technology definitely have profound implications on Chinese uh, companies. Um, the most affected players are probably ICT hardware makers like Huawei uh, because they rely on advanced semiconductors that are produced uh, using foreign, mostly U.S. Um, design um, and software um, and technology. So without that technology, uh, Huawei, for example, isn't able to uh, produce the advanced chips that power its smartphones, but also its 5G uh, network uh, solutions. So uh, this is a, definitely a very tricky situation for Europe because it finds itself in the middle of uh, definitely one of the most um, extreme and consequential um, conflicts uh, in global technology um, so far. Um, I think Europe should realize, though, that it has leverage uh, to compete uh, with China, for example, uh, because, um, yes, Europe lacks uh, digital champions, and we hear this argument uh, a lot, but I think um, there are also a number of strengths that Europe could, could use uh, to compete. Um, I think if you look at the latest um, digital agenda developed by the European Commission, you, I think that's a great place to start because Europe wants to master its own critical technologies um, and it also wants to use European data to create value and therefore create new products and new um, services. So if Europe really manages to compete uh, on, its, on its own strength, it will be able to, I think, confront Chinese and, and American players. One area that, for example, China is very interested in uh, at the moment is the industrial internet and industrial internet of things. And uh, that is an area where Europe has a lot of strengths that it could use to uh, have, have some leverage vis-a-vis -vis China, for example, making partnerships um, more conditional um, and try to use that interest that China has to advance European priorities. Uh, right now, because China's access to US technology is also increasingly curtailed, uh, there may be opportunities for Europe to, um, to use China's dependence on certain uh, European technologies uh, to advance its own interests. Uh, China is also um, very interested in European science and innovation anything from biotechnologies to microelectronics. And so far, I don't think Europe has used that um, reliance, or if you want, you can call it an interest uh, that Chinese companies and research institutes have in the European innovation ecosystem to, to advance its own goals.